Hello, YouTube world. Mac Daddy 1911 May 1 here with Shade Tree Survivalist. You guys recognize those babies right there? This will be uh, uh, identifying foreign weapons and gear and uh, personnel, I should say. Um, I'm not going to say what part of it is because I'm re pre recording all these, but this will be on ground attack and assault helicopters of the Russians as well as the Chinese, but this one, this part here will be on Russia, okay? This is the infamous Mi-24, okay? It was known as the Hind, H-I-N-D. That name was given to it by NATO because they did not know the, the uh, real name. It has a lot in common with the Mi-17 and the Mi-8 as far as the engine configuration, okay? And, uh, this one had wings that actually created enough lift to uh, help the helicopter stay uh, up in the air. You usually had four of these rocket pods where my cursor is at. One here, one here, and then one here, and one here. And then on the outer rails, you had uh, uh, anti-tank rockets. Oops, I bumped my camera. But there's three, well, yeah, three different versions right here in this photo. And... Um, but this, yeah, this was the mainstay at the, the late, the end of the 70s and the early 80s. But by no means is the Hind the only uh, ground attack helicopter that they had. And remember, the Hinds could also, and you can see on this one here, you can see the four uh, portholes, they also could carry infantry. So they were dual purpose helicopters. They were just, they were not just simply attack helicopters. Uh, you can see the portholes here, the glass, you know, the windows, and you can also see it here. And you had, the, I think the pilot was in the back and the gunner was in the front. You had a three barrel, uh, I want to say it was a 30 millimeter cannon, but I may be wrong. Maybe it might have been a 23 millimeter cannon, but there's several different versions with different cannons and so forth. But this helicopter is pretty much um, obsolete now. But I just wanted to start this video off with it because this is one of the views from the original Red Dawn. They tried to recreate it using a HH3 Jolly Green Giant Sikorsky helicopter that they uh, they redid it. Which this is the later model. This is the B series. It had the uh, rounded cockpit. The original had a uh, uh, glassed in uh, gondola looking uh, cockpit. I don't think I have a photograph of it. But this is the B model. This is the later model. So let's go to the next one. Okay, you can see a really nice profile of this one. Um, it's probably one of the same helicopters from the other photograph. You can see the cannon barrel up here. They got a light here. They got a, a sight system. Um, this is just a sensor probe right here. Um, and then your crew here, your cabin doors for your infantry, these massive freaking exhausts, which later models had a uh, heat diffuser that would cool the exhaust somewhat so that um, thermal guided missiles, heat seeking missiles, uh, would have a harder time hunting it down and shooting it down. And then you can see the single rocket pod here, and then the outrigger, the outrigger for the uh, anti tank missiles that it could also carry. Let me see. Go back. Here's another uh, angle from the opposite side, and you can see some of the details of it okay here's your engines instead of aiming here at the wolverine um i can't remember which one it was right off the bat if he hadn't hit it in here if he'd hit here or up here where the transmission's at or in the tail rotor it would came it would he'd have brought it down i mean it's a flying tank no doubt but you pop them damn engines and it's all she wrote um, and of course you can see on this one here, there's the gun barrel. It's a multi, uh, multi barrel. I think it's, I actually think it is a 23 millimeter, but I'm not going to swear to it. And then your sight, you got a light and so forth on it. Um, back the other way. Okay. Here's another really good picture. And you can see how the engine exhaust, the rotor blows it down and it really dirties up the side of the helicopter. This one has no weapon pods on it. It has tricycle landing gear here. The rear landing gear come out, and the front landing gear is right there where the cursor is. Um, again, you have the uh, Gatling gun and your sights and so forth. That one looks like it may have radar on it also, and I have no idea what the hell that is. Again, engine, transmission around in this area, the drive shaft that goes to the tail rotor, and of course the most vulnerable area of it, the tail rotor, and or the cockpit and uh, 
crew cabin. Okay. All right. Let me see what else we got. And here's another one with a really spectacular um, um, paint scheme on it. Really, really nice. Let me zoom out just a touch so you can get the full view of it. Again, this is a My24, the B model. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, can you tell me what that is? Can you tell me what country built that? That, ladies and gentlemen, is a My28 Havoc. Okay. If you'll look on the top of the rotor, this is radar. This baby here was purpose built to shoot down, hunt down, NATO anti tank helicopters such as the Apache. Okay? This thing carries air to air missiles. It has radar. It has infrared, forward looking infrared. It has a 30 millimeter chain gun. Um, it has all types of modern sensors and so forth. You see this little intake right here on the right? This is a diffuser. And that, yes, you can still see a lot of heat, but it's cool being cooled off by that diffuser behind the main engine. Let me see which direction I need to go with this thing. All right, is it this way? All right, here's another angle of it. Same aircraft, different. Uh, different loadout. He doesn't have any rocket pods or anything on the uh, left side of the aircraft where my cursor is. You can see that diffuser a little bit better. You can see the tail fin and the rear rotor. The radar dome. It probably has uh, another type of radar. This probably some type of uh, weather radar or something. Anti-tank missiles right here. Or anti-aircraft missiles. Who knows? Your uh, chain gun here. Let me uh, get this damn thing to work, and I'll zoom in on some of it for you, and we can really get a good... This is a great high-quality photo, um, so I can scroll, move around, but you can see the chain gun here and your ammunition on either side of it. It's belt-fed, I would imagine. Just freaking awesome. You got the missile tubes on this side, probably some type of sensors here, your main engines, armored cockpit. Look at how thick that is. That is, I mean, look, they just, <laughs> it's its like just ripping off the freaking Americans. Uh, I mean, it's, they, they uh, I mean, they see a good idea. I like, screw it. I'm going to copy that right there. Screw you guys. And then there, of course, your radar. And what reason it's up on a rotor like this, okay, is they can hide behind trees just like a freaking Apache. They can search or passively listen, you know, scan. And when you're using your radar, your laser, or whatever, this thing detects it, tells you which directions it in, and then they can go and attack this damn thing. Okay, there's a better picture of the uh, the exhaust diffuser that cools the exhaust off. And uh, now let's go back. You piece of dog duty. Let's go back and find another shot of it. All right, check it out. It's flaring up so you can see the, the uh, bottom of it a little bit better. You can see the tail fin. Okay, the rotors. Um, you really got some good details here, you can see. Okay. All right, here's another view of it. Really, really high quality, uh, high definition photograph there. It's laid out so much like the uh, the AH-64 Apache, but yet it's so freaking Russian. Those engines look just look so Russian. Just look at the way they look. And think about how the hinds have that cap over in the uh, the uh, hind of uh, the um, My 8, the My 17, and the My 24 all have that cap over the intake, okay? And how bulbous it is, big and just bulky and mean as hell looking. Rocket pod, you have your missile pod here, and, you know, these could be... Um, um, Anti-aircraft, anti-tank missiles, there's just no freaking doubt. And there's no doubt what that gun's made for to destroy it. Here's your front, here's your sight, your FLIR system and so forth. Um, just awesome. And here's part of the diffuser. And here and here, and that's what cools your freaking exhaust off on this aircraft. Even though you can still see the Mirage. See that shimmer and the Mirage? It's still hot, but not as near. 
Okay, here's another shot of it. This is a nice, beautiful profile shot of the My 28 Havoc. Big Russian star and their uh, Cyrillic writing. A great shot of the gun barrel. And it looks like it got like an anti, I mean, an air probe attached to it. Now, I don't know why the hell they'd have it attached to the gun barrel. But you can see they got their little radar here, the radar here and missile pods. Those look like anti-tank missiles, but I don't know. They're so small. They may be air-to-air -air missiles, but like I said, this is a hunter-killer. This baby is designed to hunt down our attack helicopters and shoot them down. Okay, let's get a very good close-up view on everything. This is a high-resolution video or, or photograph, and you can really see it. Look at that exhaust plume and how, how to store, I mean, you know, the mirage you can see, but it's pointing down versus back and up. Okay, and there's your missile tubes. You have the AH-64 reminiscent landing gear, a very heavily armored cockpit. You can see the face of the pilot and the gunner or vice versa. I don't know which way to do it. And see, they got that probe mounted to the gun barrel. I can assure you that that's not the way it would be in combat. Your FLIR sight and so forth is right under the nose here. This is probably a down-looking radar or something of that nature. That's what uh, I've seen on some of their aircraft, off of aircraft carriers. Then that big 30-something millimeter uh, cannon. Oh, yeah, that bitch will be bad to the bone. Um, yeah, this would be proof up to beyond probably 23 millimeter, um, the armor on this booger. Uh, 50 cal probably wouldn't even make a dent in this thing. Okay, so don't shoot the aircraft. All right. Shoot the damn gun, the weapons that are on the damn thing. Okay. Shoot the radar. Okay. If you possibly can. But I mean, this thing is a ground attack. This thing would tear your ass up if they got a shot of you. And that infrared, they can see your heat signature, your body's heat. Okay. Day or night, fog, snow, rain, it does not matter. That FLIR system can see your body heat and they can wear your ass out with this baby right here. Okay. And more than likely, the pilot had either of uh, the gunner has a sight, and the pilot has a sight, and uh, yeah, they could wear your ass the hell out. So you would not want to screw around with this booger right here. But if you had like a law, there's the engine. Okay, knock the damn engine out. Uh, the tail rotor. Okay, they doing it. I mean, the hell, their guys, the uh, the uh, bad guys are shooting our guys down with uh, their RPGs all the time. So let's pay them back a little bit and shove a law rocket right in their ass. Right here at this juncture, there's a uni there's got to be a universal joint or a gearbox here that uh, transmits the power from the, the drive shaft here up to here, and then there's another gearbox here. Damage either one of these gearboxes, damage that damn rotor, knock that bitch down. Okay, it may be a flying tank. Guess what? It will crash just like a freaking rock. 10 for Roger. So don't screw around if you are engaged in something like this. This guy gets a beat on you, you're done. You are freaking done. You might as well just wrap that crap up. Go ahead and dig your own damn grave because you're, you're fixing to go down. All right, here's another really good shot, another high-resolution shot. This is probably an, <clears throat> an external fuel tank to extend its ferry range so it can go from one place to the other. You can see the diffuser that cools off the exhaust, but you can still see how dirty an engine this thing is. It's all over this damn thing. And you can see the heat mirage right there, okay? Again, you got the landing gear very similar to the A864 Apache. There's your tail rotor. That's your target. Shoot that motherfucker out of there. Just bust a cap in that ass. Armored cockpit, don't waste your time unless you got a rocket launcher, okay? But if this thing gets a beat on you, you in the damn hurt locker. I'm here to tell, tell you. Let's see what else we got. Okay, here are some uh, some different ones. They got a different uh, camouflage scheme. Let's get a view of them. This is not very good, not very high quality video or photographs. They're too grainy. You really can't tell if those are rocket pods or whatever the case may be. So we'll go to the next photo. That's just not worth a doo-doo right there. Uh, let's see what we got. Ah, how about that? And that beautiful shot. Isn't that a beautiful shot? All right. It's got a very close... Now, this is the thing, ladies and gentlemen. You'll make damn sure if war were to come, all right, they're not going to have these big red stars on there. 
Okay, you got to be able to visually identify what you're shooting at. Okay, the AH-64 Apache does not have a turret like that. The gun is open and exposed. We'll go into videos on it later. You don't have this big round radar here. Uh, the FLIR sight and all is all in the nose. They don't have a, a, a pointy nose like that. Okay, so think of this as Pinocchio. Okay, think Pinocchio. My 28 Havoc. This is not good. Pinocchio will whip your ass. Um, the double stack cockpit, same thing as the AH-64 Apache. You will be in trouble. Okay, check out that big ass diffuser. It looks like the exhaust pipe on a big truck laid down. Or on a, a real nice exhaust pipe on like a real fancy pickup or something. Okay, you'll look for that. Okay, you'll look, you'll look for that bulbous uh, wing and the wing is on the top here. On the AH-64 patch, it's down here by the wheel and it's a lot bigger. Okay, so that little wing there, there's two of them on the Apache, one on each side. And then the screwed up rotors. Okay, see that? that actually, that's pretty damn close to what the uh, the Apache has. So you can't you can't just go by the overall configuration at a glance because that'll get you in a deep shit and you get your ass shot all hell. You got to really take your time. Gun turret, radar, Pinocchio nose, the big freaking motors with the downturn diffuser. Okay, especially if it's dirty right in this area here. The tail wings are up. There's only one on the Apache. They're down at the bottom. There are two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the KA-50 Black Shark. Now, as bad to the bone as that uh, My 28 Havoc is, <clears throat> this is a killer. This is a fighter plane in helicopter form, okay? There are four or five different versions of this thing. One's called the Black Shark. One is called the Werewolf. Mm -hmm. And that's the Russian name for it. They are not a joke. This thing is not a damn joke. As you can see in this photograph here, you have rocket pods here. You have rocket pods here. And you have a side of some type right here. But this is just this. I mean, dual rotors. There's no tail rotor to shoot out. Okay. Low profile, small engines. But you still got that round cap over the front of them. Okay. Let's go to the next photograph. I think you yeah, need to go this direction. That is it sitting on the tarmac without any arms on it. You can see the red star on the tail. You can see the dual Kamenov rotor system that they have been using for many, many, many years since the, I imagine, from the 50s. I believe this is probably a reconnaissance bird because of the camera system under the nose here. Okay, but... It has pylons for weapon systems. Next, this is a view from the bottom of a different, completely different version, even though this in here is also called the Black Shark. Okay. This is probably a recon pod of some kind. I don't know. Maybe a weapons pod. I do not know. It has a ball. That's probably a sight right there, and this is probably some type of a sight. You have missile systems here probably anti-aircraft okay these, these look like they probably from a shoulder launch rocket system there's no need to go and get all big and fancy with an air-to-air -air missile for a uh to shoot down a fighter plane okay the missile doesn't have to be that fast okay it needs to be maneuverable and light and small so that is more than likely an anti-aircraft missile system here's another really really good shot of that same exact helicopter Okay, now here's where you can start learning to distinguish what these babies look like. Plain vertical fin looks like an old fighter plane. Okay, then you have the two small wings that also have a little vertical wing on each of those tail surface. Then you've got the uh, straight line of the weapons pylon wing, and then it's angled at the rear. And then you've got that teardrop shaped here and it's got the dual main rotors there's no tail rotor on this thing okay you got to remember these babies are deadly tricycle landing gear one in the nose and the two rear here okay so this is this is not a joke 
These could be napalm. These could be cluster bomb units. These could be uh, external fuel tanks. These are definitely probably 2.5 or 3 inch rocket pods here. And then you've got your FLIR and your visual sights and probably a laser designator here. There's no telling. Or infrared um, sensor that would sense infrared uh, thermal heat from the engines on a, uh, uh, an aircraft. And that would be to use to help the, uh, the, uh, the um, thermally guided missiles to lock on their target before you fire them. Just look at that mean looking son of a bitch. I mean, just mean, 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 mean looking. Doesn't it look like an old timey fighter plane? Okay. And when I say a fighter, there's one man in that thing. This is not a crew. This is a fighter plane. That's what this bitch was built to do. Okay. This is probably doing some type of maneuvering, but believe me, it's got the two rotors. One short, one low, and one up, way up high. You don't have a tail rotor. You don't have a tail rotor. Okay. Vertical. Uh, uh, rudder, the two horizontal wings here, two horizontal wings here, then you have your vertical surfaces on these two wings, dual engines, this wing is straight in the front and angled at the back, plain nose, no gun, we have a camera here, okay, which could be for detecting uh, infrared heat, okay, and sh uh, they can probably carry infrared air-to-air uh, -air missiles, okay, so that's that one. And man, that thing's showing that screen up pretty bad. I'm sorry about that, but can't get my damn computer to do it any other way. Now, here's a tandem version of the same helicopter, okay? It looks like one of the old Grumman A6 cockpits right there, the way the windows are made at the front, the windscreen, and then uh, the side screens. These are designed to blow out and allow the uh, crew to eject. Now, that don't make no damn sense because you're going to get chopped up by the rotors, right? So I don't understand that, but that's exactly what it would look like on uh, ground attack aircraft uh, with ejection seats. Maybe they uh, eject down or maybe they don't have one. I don't know. That's just a uh, supposition on my part. This one's got some type of a turret here. Plain nose. Okay, check out the plain nose. The wings again, the, uh, the hard points, and probably sensors of all kinds in the wingtips. Then the, uh, the uh, little wings here. The vertical plane tail and the dual rotors again. Check that out. Okay. Twin seat fighter aircraft is what you're basically looking at, even though it's a helicopter. This thing is, I'm telling you, this thing here would go after our transport aircraft. And I want you to notice something. Let me zoom in on this. I don't want you to miss this because this baby here is bad to the bone now. Cannon. That's probably a 30 millimeter cannon right there. Okay. Up here at the front, you got your thermal sight, your uh, visual sights, your rocket pods, and probably air to air missiles. Twin engines again. Okay. The uh, wings, the uh, wings for the hard points are mounted to the bottom of the engine housing or the engines mounted to the top. You have the diffuser that's pointing it upward and outward. Okay, plain tail rotor again, ladies and gentlemen, plain tail rotor. I mean, uh, tail plane, not tail rotor. No tail rotor, just a plain vertical stabilizer. But yeah, check that out. Okay, that is just, yeah, they are really spending some damn money on their aircraft. And this is also uh, considered a black shark also. And uh, if it's got the cannon on this side, it probably has the same damn cannon on the opposite side. Let's see. I think I got it from another angle. Well, there's another one of the original one. Okay, you just have the rocket pods on this one. Okay, still the KA-50 Black Sharp. Okay, you can see the gun barrel on that one. It's much better than you could in, in the other photograph. And uh, being this is high resolution, why not? Let's, let's zoom in on that baby. And it even says right there where my cursor is, Russian helicopters, right there. <laughs> but there you go. You got that probably a 30 millimeter. And then your rocket pods out here, or your um, any aircraft missiles, tubes, 
than your rocket pods. And I'm assuming that's what these are. These could be a ground attack, but I would, why in the world would you do, you know, do double that? And they don't look like any tank. They just don't look like an anti-tank uh, rocket or missile. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is you a teaser for the very next video. You can sort of see the red star surrounded by the orange or yellow, I guess it would be. This is a uh, Chinese attack, ground attack helicopter. You can see it's, uh, they're trying to make them th stealthy. Okay, so this will be the teaser video for the next video in the series, um, Chinese uh, helicopters and so forth. And of course, they still buy a lot of Russian or build it uh, under license. But you can see it looks it looks very reminiscent of an American attack helicopter or maybe in a, I think it's an Italian Mangusta. Um, but it's, uh, you know, the way it's shaped, I think they're trying to get it to be a more stealthy helicopter. So maybe it's closer to the Comanche that uh, was canceled because the United States, um, you know, we're fighting a couple of damn different wars and money's uh, hard to come by. But anywho, that one there is a uh, very modern helicopter, and this is just a teaser photograph for the next video. So you guys stay tuned. I hope you guys are getting something from these videos. Believe me, we don't need to sit on our laurels and think that we are uh, absolutely the only country in the world that can build uh, uh, superior fighting vehicles, okay? Chinese are not sitting around with their thumb up their crack. They are really, really investing some money as well as the Russians as well as a lot of other countries in the world, but these two would be the only two that would really have the wherewithal, manpower, logistics, and so forth to be able to invade the United States. So y'all take care. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, um, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later.